In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the browser extension Trust Wallet to Apex Protocol. Then I'll show you how to transfer assets onto the DEX. From there, I'll show you how to withdraw your assets back into Trust Wallet when you're done your trading. If this is your first time connecting your wallet to Apex Protocol, I left a verified link for you in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. If you use that link when connecting your wallet to the platform for the first time, you're going to save 5% on all your trading fees anytime you use this DEX from that wallet. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a decentralized exchange, including Apex Protocol. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you click on my link in the description of the video down below or in the pinned comment, you'll arrive on this page here, and this is the user interface for Apex Protocol. If you choose not to use my link and navigate directly to Apex Protocol, you'll likely arrive on this page right here. And to get to the user interface, you just simply click here on Trade Now, or you can click on Trade top right hand side. Just make sure you're on the official Apex Protocol website. You don't want to be accidentally connecting your wallet to any phishing websites, as that could obviously result in a serious security breach of your wallet. The link in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment, is a verified link. And you'll also be saving 5% on all your trading fees anytime you use this platform from your wallet. To connect Trust Wallet to Apex Protocol, just come up here, top right hand side of the screen, and click on Connect Wallet. In this pop-up menu here, simply select Trust Wallet by clicking on it. Then in this pop-up window here, you'd come down and click on Send Requests. You'll also notice that there's a Remember Me option right here, and only use this option if you trust the device that you're connecting from. My device is a trusted device, but typically I just leave this set to off. The next time I go to use the platform, I'll have to send a new signature request to connect to the platform, which doesn't come at any cost. So when you're ready to send a request, just simply click right here on Send Requests. Then Trust Wallet will pop down top right hand side of the screen and just simply click on Confirm. Now the wallet is connected to the platform and you'll be able to see your wallet address top right hand side of the screen. Mine's behind a little black box. You'll notice beside your wallet address is all the different networks that Apex Protocol supports. You can see I'm currently on the Ethereum mainnet, but if you give this a click, you'll get a drop down with all the different networks that you can use to transfer assets onto the platform as well as withdraw assets from the platform. So simply choose the network that you wish to use to transfer your assets to Apex Protocol. I have some assets in the Arbitrum 1 network, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Then Trust Wallet will drop down asking to switch networks. Again, this comes at no cost, so I'm just going to come down here and click on Switch. Now you can see I'm using Apex Protocol on the Arbitrum network. If I come up here and click on the Trust Wallet icon, you can see that the wallet has also been switched over to the Arbitrum network. To deposit assets onto Apex Protocol, simply come over here and click where it says Deposit. Then in this pop-up window here, you can complete the transfer of your assets from Trust Wallet onto Apex Protocol. Now, if you're going to be trading any of the USDC pairings, you'll have to leave this box right here set to USDC. But if you'd like to trade the Tether pairings, what you would do is you'd give this a click and then you'd select USDT Perpetuals. And you can kind of view this like two different accounts. If you're going to be trading USDC pairings, you have to transfer into the USDC Perpetuals. And if you're going to be trading the Tether pairings, you have to transfer into the USDT Perpetuals. I have a little bit of USDC inside my Trust Wallet, so I'm going to go ahead and click right here and select the USDC Perpetuals. Next, you'll have to choose the network that you're transferring in from. And of course, I'm already using the Arbitrum 1 network, so this looks perfectly fine. But if you're using a different network, you'd give this a click and then select the network from this drop down menu that you wish to transfer the assets from your Trust Wallet and into Apex Protocol. After that, you can choose the asset that you wish to deposit onto the platform by clicking right here and you'll see the different options down below. But you'll notice if I choose an option other than USDC, so if I come down here and click on Ethereum, for example, that Apex protocol will be swapping my Ethereum into USDC. And you'll be able to see your swap rate right here. So if I was to transfer Ethereum from Trust Wallet onto the DEX, Apex protocol will be swapping it in the process and converting it into USDC. If you want to adjust your slippage, you can always do that by clicking on this box right here and then changing your slippage. Most of the time, the default slippage works perfectly fine. But as I mentioned before, I do have some USDC already in my wallet, so I'm going to click right here 
and select USDC. That way I don't have to do a swap. And if it's your first time transferring a token into Apex protocol, you will have to enable it. And you can do that by coming right down here. And in my case, I'll be clicking where it says enable USDC. And you only have to do this once. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Then Trust Wallet's going to drop down top right hand side of your screen, asking you to give permission to access your USDC. If I scroll down just a little bit here, you'll see that there is a fee for this. In my case, the estimated fee is 0 0.0001 Ethereum, which is a small fee, so that looks perfectly fine to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here on confirm. Then you'll need to click here where it says I understand the risks and continue. So of course, give this a quick read through. If it looks fine to you, you'd click on this right here. Now I've approved USDC for Apex protocol. So I'm going to come back over here to the form. And now I can choose how much of my USDC I want to transfer from Trust Wallet and onto Apex protocol. And you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So if you want to send in a custom amount, you could always type it in like so. Or if you want to send in everything, you just click here on max. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and click on confirm deposit. Then Trust Wallet will be dropping down top right hand side of the screen to confirm this transfer. And of course, this is happening over the blockchain, so you will have to pay a gas fee for sending the tokens out of your wallet and onto Apex protocol. Once again, in my case here, the estimated fee is 0 0.0001 Ethereum, which is a small fee. So this looks perfectly fine to me, so I'm going to click right here on Confirm. And now my USDC is on its way from Trust Wallet and onto Apex protocol. And I'll also mention that the gas fees are paid out of the native token for the network that you're transferring from. So I just transferred from Arbitrum 1 and the native token is Ethereum. So in my particular situation, I had to pay that gas fee out of my Ethereum balance that I'm storing inside of Trust Wallet on the Arbitrum network. So keep that in mind, whatever network you're using, you're going to have to use the native token of that network to cover that gas fee. So if you're using Binance Chain, the native token is BNB. And if you're using another layer two like Optimism, for example, then the native token for Optimism would be Ethereum. And as you can see, my USDC has already arrived on Apex protocol. Now I'm ready to trade any of the USDC pairings. I'll also mention, if anyone would like to learn more about this platform, I do have a complete step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So I'm going to leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Now I'll show you how you can withdraw your assets off of Apex protocol and back into your trust wallet. To get this done, we'll click right here on Withdraw. Then we'll get our pop-up window where we can complete our withdrawal. In my case here, I'm going to be withdrawing my USDC off of the platform. So I'm going to be leaving this box set to USDC. But if you were withdrawing Tether, you'd give this a click and then you'd select USDT Perpetual. Next, you'll need to choose the network that you wish to do the withdraw over. In my case, Arbitrum 1 works perfectly fine. But if you want to use a different network, you'd give this a click and then select the network from this drop down menu that you wish to use for your withdrawal. Next, we'll choose how much we wish to withdraw from Apex and back into our trust wallet. You'll be able to see your available balance right here. So once again, if you want to do a custom amount, you just type it in like so. And if you want to withdraw all of it, you'd click here on max. You'll also see right here that there's a little notice. So cross chain withdrawals require verification at layer two via CK proofs, and the withdrawal process may take up to two hours. Sufficient funds in the corresponding chain's asset pool are required to process cross-chain withdrawals. Gas fees will also be incurred. Apex Pro will charge a fee to cover this. So in this case here, the fee for this is only $2. And that's perfectly fine with me. So I'm going to complete this withdrawal by coming down here and clicking on confirm withdrawal. Then you'll get a confirmation window here, letting you know that withdrawals are irreversible. So if you have everything set up the way that you intended, you just come down here and click on confirm withdrawal. Now my USDC is on its way back into my trust wallet from Apex protocol on the Arbitrum One network. And keep in mind that this process can take up to several hours. If I come over here and click on withdraw, you can see that I did this withdrawal with two lightning bolts. And you can see right here that two lightning bolts means that this withdrawal could take two to four hours. If this was done on one lightning bolt, it takes about 12 hours. And if you have three lightning bolts, it can happen as fast as eight minutes. But as I mentioned before, a lot of the time, the withdrawal happens faster than the allotted time frame that they're suggesting here. 
Now I'll go ahead and close this out. I'll come up here to Trust Wallet icon, give it a click. And once my USDC arrives back in Trust Wallet, I'll be able to see that balance right here for the Arbitrum network. There you have it. That's how you can connect Trust Wallet to Apex Protocol, as well as transfer assets to and from the DEX. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out some of my other Apex tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.